This is Gene Key for SkyServe News. From KVUE.com, a former Texas prison employee suspected of being a serial rapist who targeted older women has been sentenced to life in prison for sexually assaulting a disabled woman. The Victoria Advocate reports that a Jackson County jury took less than 10 minutes Friday before sentencing Billy Joe Harris. The 54-year-old Harris was convicted last week of aggravated sexual assault. He was found guilty of attacking a 59-year-old disabled woman in Edna, about 100 miles southwest of Houston. Jurors rejected claims by Harris that he suffers from multiple personality disorders. Investigators believe Harris is the twilight rapist, so dubbed because most of the attacks happened just before dawn. According to the Associated Press, it happened again. Another train accident at this same location. A freight train has rear-ended a stop train in Arlington, where at least 60 derailments since 1998 have raised safety concerns. Arlington Fire Department Battalion Chief Troy Brooks says three locomotives derailed and three to five cargo containers were crushed when an eastbound train hit one that was stopped late Saturday. Both trains are owned by Union Pacific. Arlington police say there were no injuries, but the Fort Worth Star-Telegram reports at least 600 people were stuck at a charity event after the crash blocked the only exit to a Howell family farm, which hosts weddings and other events. The most serious of the train accidents in Arlington was in 1998 when an Amtrak passenger train carrying 198 people derailed, injuring 22 people. The State Fair of Texas has opened for 125th year. The State Fair of Texas is officially open now in Dallas. Fair officials say along with Fair Classics, you'll find several new additions this year, like five new rides in the kids' area. You'll also find a massive sign promoting the Top of Texas Tower, a new ride opening at the fair next year. There is also a carousel park, car show, and of course, plenty of fried food. This is Gene Key for SkyServe News.